Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is part two of my video discussion of slope angles. Today I'm down at Salt River Pass and I'm on the volley objectives and I've got the Alpha Free boots. What I'd like to do today is to continue that discussion and I'd like to show you how I how you can use Google Earth to measure the slopes when you're planning to ski some area that you maybe you've never skied before or maybe you're just doing some route planning and you want to make sure it's safe or maybe you're uh, planning to go to an area and you just want to see whether or not the slopes are a good match for your current ski and boot setup and the snow conditions for the area. So we got a, a nice little slope here that we can do some measuring on. Let's come down here just a little bit so we can actually look down the slope. Oh man, is this snow ever beautiful today? Wow. Woohoo! <laughs> It's a little bit steeper right down here. Okay, let's stop right here. So my favorite tool for looking at slopes and terrains for both route planning and also just to determine approximate slope angles is Google Earth Pro. Now I've got the program installed up on my desktop computer and what we're taking a look at here is one of my favorite slopes down at Salt River Pass. Now the way you measure the average slope is to essentially draw a path on the slope. We'll start at the top and we'll pick a route down through here. To the bottom. Now we'll right click on that and we'll show the elevation profile. Now there's a lot of information that this will pop up. It'll give you the distance of the run. We're losing about 761 feet there. And the maximum slope is 50.4%. And the average slope, there's some ups and downs and some steeper and some flatter sections is 26.4%. Now Google Earth measures the slopes in percent, not in degrees. So if you want to know what the degree slope angle is, you have to do a little bit of conversion. Now the upper part of this is actually the steepest part, so we're just going to highlight this little section right here. And let's take a look at this. This little section right up here, you can see that the maximum slope is 43.9% and the average slope is 33.8%. Now to convert that to a degree slope, We'll pull up a, a scientific calculator and for the average slope we'll put in 0.34 percentage and we'll take the arc tangent of it and it turns out to be just a little bit less than 19 degrees. Now for the steepest portion of it which is 43.9 percent so let's go 0.44 percent and again let's take the arc tangent that gives you a slope angle of about 24 degrees. Now if you want to have a little fun with Google Earth Pro, you can measure the slopes at your favorite ski area. What I brought up here is Stowe Mountain Resort in Vermont. No, I've never skied there, so I obviously have no ground proofing. But it's just kind of fun to look at some of these things. And it's really nice because on Google Earth, they actually have the, uh, the different runs are labeled, so it's pretty easy to match them up with what the trail map shows. So we can take a look at a couple runs real quickly here. This one 
run here that I have outlined in blue is what they call nosedive, which corresponds to this route over here, which starts out as a black diamond run, then turns into an intermediate run. So after the path has been traced, once again, you can right click on it, show elevation profile, and now you've got all the information you need here about the uh, elevation gain and loss, and also the slopes. Now this slope goes from fairly steep down to an intermediate slope. The maximum slope is 56.8%, and the average slope is 29.6%. Let's just take a look at the upper portion of this slope, which is obviously the steeper portion. So let's just look at this 400 foot elevation drop right in here. And you can see that the maximum slope is 56.8 with an average slope of 34%. So if we bring up our calculator and we put in 0.34% and we take the arc tangent of it, you can see that the actual degree angle of that section of the run is only 18%. And they're showing the maximum slope as being 56.8%. So even if you use that number, let's go 0.57%. And let's take the arc tangent of that. Shows that the, the steepest slope on this whole section is about 30 degrees. And just for comparison, let's take a look at a green run here. It's called Lower Tyro. Let's show the elevation profile on that. And let's just take a typical section through here. Being a green run, it's not going to be real steep. You can see a maximum slope of 37.5% with an average slope of about 20%. Once again, if you use a scientific calculator, 20% uh, slope the arc tangent means that it's about 11 degrees. I'd like to show you another resource that you might find useful. And this can be found on the web at backcountrymap.com. And this essentially is a slope analysis map. And it'll show you very graphically those areas that are in that danger zone between a 30 degree slope angle and a 50 degree slope angle. What we're looking at right here is Black Mountain, which is just across from me. And uh, I tend to ski this area an awful lot. There are some areas that are very safe, and there are some areas that aren't. And uh, this map will really show you the areas that you need to stay away from, especially if you're skiing by yourself. Now, I'm not going to go into detail of how to use this map. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can change the parameters over here. But it does give you a good visual indication as for route planning. Uh, which areas are safe and which areas can be dangerous. Well, it's sure been a great day of skiing out here in northwest Wyoming. <laughs> I don't think I could ask for better snow conditions and more lovely terrain. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, you know, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, be safe, be kind, and I hope to see you out on the trail.